there we are nice nice hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today today is september 27th monday afternoon 2 p.m 2021 and we're doing a live stream drop in math tutoring session number number 76 or so at least 76 or so open discussion let's do a little bit of mathematics which is something that we desperately desperately need in our societies we got to get people thinking critically very very important especially during the period that we're in right now which is basically uh, a collapsing centralized education system that has been happening slow progression really slow collapse for those of us that are involved in it uh, for the last 20 years at least uh, kicked into high gear about 10 years ago five years ago and basically the final nail in the coffin was put in in the last couple of years um, so there are people in desperate need of help with mathematics okay and that's what we're making our time here for Ali plopless one three two one good afternoon good afternoon hope you're doing well welcome welcome to another live stream the faucet how are you doing hey teach how's life welcome welcome mathematics is back our first one for this year and um, i was planning on starting earlier but uh, i got overwhelmed with the number of students uh, at the beginning of this year that uh, needed help um, like i said uh, our i'm in canada and education system has here has completely collapsed long time i mean you're a new dad happy happy dad <laughs> happy happy parenting <laughs> my god boy or a girl boy or a girl and what's their name i've been i'm, I'm assuming you're uh sleep the sleep deprived yes most parents new parents man I've seen, I've seen some parents some parents are okay the kid sleeps like 10 hours a night and they're like oh no problem some parents I've seen their hair is all fizzy their eyes are like this and uh, they lack of sleep for like three or four months and god forbid if they get like babies get colic the mouth oh my god girl Olivia awesome was okay for four months now <laughs> sorry I'm laughing brother but it just cracks me up this cracks me up I always see the faces of friends and family that I've seen that are going through a period where the baby's crying a lot <laughs> it's just they're like ronnie how are you doing glad to be here early awesome glad to have you ronnie not meg hello hello how are you doing cheryl how's life how's life gang while we wait for people to roll in and notifications to go out if you want to know what this work is about this is the core of what my work is about which is mathematics i know if we've gone expanded through multiple branches of things many of them that have already been overlaid with mathematics some of them have not yet but they will be okay but the core the essence of why i'm here and why i'm doing this is mathematics and you can follow the work on patreon okay if you want to support this work if you want to know what this work is about whoop, patreon is a great way to do so I don't put anything behind paywall everything's creative commons share and share all like and for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang some of you for a number of years now since day one thank you very much for the support i appreciate it very much and i know many other people do as well just from the feedback i've gotten regarding the work we've done online as well as a huge thank you to the people that are supporting us on twitch for those following for those subbing for those that are here participating in discussion and the mods for taking care of business 
warm and loose hello hello i no good at math ah, you might be better than you think you might be better than you think the faucet uh I look older than a two-year-old, two-year po 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 politician, brother. <laughs> I look older than a two two years in, as a politician. Funny, funny. Cheryl to Fawcett. Oh, good times. The cries go from "Oh, I need something" to full-on siren about that time. It will pass. It will pass. It will pass. Cheryl, as Cheryl says, it will pass. And enjoy the little the baby period man amazing 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 when a little little baby reaches up and grabs your nose and goes like this or if you have facial hair grabs your facial hair and just man amazing 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 thank you faucet says not make chicho your voice is so relaxing oh i'm glad brother or sister of course <laughs> we need relaxing in our times but we do get rattled sometimes on a daily basis so <laughs> it's good to calm down and talk about the essence of life right and gee how are you doing plus minus divide where is the multiplication at <laughs> faucet so my wife due to your podcast is now uh resitting uh, oh uh, resitting her uh, gcse math uk thank you so much for your input awesome awesome more power to you more power to you nutmeg sister thank you thank you i'll try to remember i'll try to remember <sighs> the faucet she would grab your beard yeah okay <laughs> babies i've held a lot of children in my life i've helped raise some and stuff right kids one of the first things they love they love the facial hair they're like oh look at this i got something i could hold on to let's pull it <laughs> and there's a saying in armenian that says a baby's grip will will uh, choke a snake it's such a tight grip right uh, there are actually people that uh, i forget this is a long time ago i looked into it they will gr get babies to hold on to a rod and then they'll hang them and the kid is just hanging on to hanging on to a rod it's super cool you're super cool sleepy waves how are you doing first stream i have been able to catch this weekend how many uh how was yesterday's yesterday's stream was good sleepy waves but i really enjoyed the patio stream i really enjoyed the patio stream man but i think we need another current events live stream i need to uh vent a little maybe <laughs> Blake I T Blake I Blake it Blake it Blake it 67 what are you what are you doing step bro what are you doing step bro uh, I'm doing mathematics I'm here to answer mathematics yes Nifan thank you man for helping the community amongst all the chaos and twitch and the degenerate things happening this is like a nice place to relax and awesome i'm glad and i need it as well man i need it as well really uh, this is an out uh sort of a way for me to uh, uh you know relieve pressure building up and do my part to try to improve our societies because we need it we need it faucet baby's grip with the choke your drink <laughs> <laughs> i was not expecting that too funny too funny no name boy how are we doing you make my my eyes like watery man so funny no name boy for chicho will you ever do more music album reviews and videos format like the ones you did about Ru you for sure man for sure uh the rush is 21 12 i really enjoyed that video yeah i would love to man i just we just got overwhelmed with what's going on in the last two years and i just needed to and i still need to do my part to make sure i stand on the right side of history because this content is out there right um 
some people might not appreciate what we're doing right now some people might okay uh, but i can i can guarantee you i can guarantee you just the way i some of the content i created in the last 15 years and 15 years ago i was getting a lot of flack from saying some of the things i was saying even 20 years ago when before i was blogging i started blogging like 16 years ago or so right i was getting a lot of flack people bah, 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 trash talking and stuff like this i can guarantee you i can guarantee you 10 15 years from now as long as our content hasn't been removed from the net people will look back at some of the stuff that we've been creating and they will watch read and listen at in awe of what was going on and it will be a, a testament to history and we have to make sure we're on the right side of history so once the storm passes i will 100 percent go back to doing some of that stuff i actually had one laid out to do for tool i don't know if you listen to tool but i had one laid out to do for tool but i haven't had the time to take the outline that i created to layer it with the mathematics that is required to analyze tools music okay but we will and of course i want to do one for boney m <laughs> cosmic visions hello hello cosmic visions how are we doing mc mike what's up guys how are you doing joe chicho i have a strange question about squares oh what's your question some squares are pretty good some squares really suck <laughs> the faucet in all seriousness i'm here for the meditation uh you provide you may not even uh, mean it but you but you provide a calm uh th through people do i hope people relate i hope so too and this is sort of the uh and just to let you know th this is the way i communicate with my students because for for hello mrs mr brain freeze how are you doing uh because when people are relaxed uh, calm uh happy laughing uh enjoying the space that they're in they learn better that's you that's me that's all of humanity right so i try to create a nice space for a uh, nice vibe to learn to share information right you're a cool cat <laughs> thanks <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines vk gab parlor bitcloud and getter free speech social platforms any social platforms that censor information censor your speech dump them they're garbage thank you very much for the tier one sub faucet and we do have a discord page this cord you can come to our chat anytime you want in this in twitch and type in exclamation mark discord and a little link will pop up and that's your invite to our discord server there's people sharing a lot of information there me included and participating in discussion you're definitely welcome to join us there and the links will be in the description of this video once this video has been loaded on to the different video sharing platforms that we load information on for live streams where we don't have any visuals the audio portion of those live streams is being uploaded to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and those podcasts should be available in your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes and google play and we will be uploading this live stream to do, 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 sensor to to bitchu to rumble to odyssey if you want to follow all of our content bitchu rumble and odyssey is where you want to be because those are our free speech platforms that we load on everything on sensor tube everything does not go on there okay and less and less content is being loaded on there on a weekly monthly and yearly basis it'll be less and less content for example the last few days i've you know a couple of days ago i loaded up seven videos to bitch rumble and odyssey and only one made it to sensor two today i'm loading on six videos short segments on bitch rumble and odyssey and only two is going to go on sensor two in the last month we've uploaded 
a ton of content on those platforms that we have not uploaded to SensorTube. So that's where you want to be. And gang, thank you very much for all the support uh, that we get from all of these platforms. Uh, Fasa, thank you very much for gifting a sub tier one sub to warm and loose. Let me take these guys down. I'm going to get caught up with the chat. Get the intro out of the way. Sipiway Chicho, how does math dictate music? Uh, dictate music. Can you show some math examples on the most basic? I can show you the basic, some of the drumming stuff. Uh, no name boy. Yeah, tool is awesome. Chism probably has one of the greatest bass lines of all time, in my opinion. Chism is amazing. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't heard one tool song that I don't like, and I can't say that about too many bands. Uh, pawn dogs and pay send pay pawn dogs pawn dogs send pay <laughs> pawn did you discover asmr after you turned around from explaining quadratics on the whiteboard and half your students were asleep? no i actually discovered asmr what asmr was from combing my beard i have a chicho if you do chicho combing beard uh and from an article I read, and that was the first ASMR video I loaded up. I put shares on Rumble. Faucet. I'll shut up now. <laughs> nice. And gang, don't forget, ridiculously important. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or, or Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on Sensor 2. Oh man, tool, tool, Joe. I've seen him live. Phenomenal. Joe Chicho, I believe it's mathematically impossible to tune a piano accurately. Is it? Uh, well, the, the, the perfect harmonics are that's exactly what they are. Mathematics provides models for us what something perfect would be, like the normal distribution, the perfect normal distribution. But there is no such thing as a perfect normal distribution. That only occurs in mathematical models or mathematical functions i guess right see with chicho can you do some math in regard to drumming then haha <laughs> that was that's exactly what i was going to do because i learned drumming through notes i'm one of the few people that i know that i learned how to drum through notes i didn't have an ear for it um i didn't have natural talent drumming natural talent so i hired a drum teacher uh back in the 80s when uh, i was in high school or my parents did anyway that was a deal i cut with them right <laughs> you want me to tell you the deal i cut with them here's i got how here's how i got into drumming okay here's how i got into drumming when i was in high school i was in grade i don't know what was i in i was in grade nine or ten or something like this and my parents said you have to learn an instrument i said okay drums and they said no <laughs> i said what the hell you guys told me I have to learn an instrument so i'm picking drums they said no not drums uh i go no that's my instrument they go okay we'll make you a deal take piano for a year and if you take piano for a year and then if you want drums we'll get you drums i said okay chicho chicho holds on to his deals yeah i like making deals right uh so i because my other siblings were taking piano and guitar and stuff like that so i went to this piano teacher old lady old lady english style very formal so i took piano for a year okay after a year to the day sat there finished my lesson and the teacher goes oh good job good job i go okay thank you mrs i forget her name is thank you mrs whatever for teaching me piano for a year um this will be my <laughs> last session she's like what i go yeah i made, made a deal with my parents that after a year i'm going to take drums and i'm going to start playing drums and she goes what uh, i go yeah thank you i appreciate what you learned she goes but piano is the foundation you can do everything you can it's got the chords it's got this it's got this it's got this i go yeah but i want to play drums so thank you very much 
and I, and it was in a private residence so you know I left and I went to the car and I said okay mom great let's go get the you know we gotta go get the drum set she's like what I said we made a deal and I just told the teacher that this was my last lesson she's like what <laughs> I go, you guys told me that, that was a deal that was the deal that's it no ifs no buts no nothing right so we ended up getting the drums and when I started getting drums I couldn't do like the rhythm on drums this has got to go like this this has got to do a different different thing this does a different thing this does a different thing <laughs> right so i was trying to do this i'm like what the hell is going on and we hired a drum um, tutor teacher music teacher and he came in and he taught it to me with notes and i learned notes and he turned to me once after like two years of taking lessons with him he goes chicho i have a, another student that it has natural ability abilities that are crazy he could be one of the greatest drummers in the world if he practiced okay he goes if he practiced as much as you practice he would be one of the greatest drummers in the world right now and he turned to me he said Chicho, you don't have natural talent for drumming but you practice i write down he goes you practice like no one else i've ever seen before i go well thanks <laughs> I would practice until my thing, my my things bled, right? My callous, hard callous, right? And I learned it from notes, and I'll show you. Okay, that's my story of. I think I told a shorter version of it a couple of years ago. But that's my story of learning how to play drums. And we're gonna do a little bit of mathematics. I'll show it to you. Okay, what it is, uh, like notes wise, seven eight four four or whatnot. Okay, let me get caught up with the chat. That was a rant and a half. Da, 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 da. Lonely piggy, how you doing? Lonely piggy. I got pasta. <laughs> I need comfort food. I made pasta with nutritional yeast, a little bit of Bragg's, uh, dried mint that I dried myself, and a little bit of coconut oil, and um, a ses sesame seed oil. fantastic happy faucet will you will you please do a music conversation I th we do music lyrics faucet we, we read music lyrics which are amazing Heji, I think our music stream has fallen in the abyss I know but Chicho has more important things to do at the point yeah we've got to take care of that stuff Heji knows and some people know that uh, like I've been working my ass off by the way <laughs> like going crazy putting out these video segments and stuff so I'm going at 150 percent capacity right now okay rumble has shares that's interesting cool so rumble video thing has shares Oh, the links yeah you can grab the links i think that's what it is joe chicho i saw a video about it a while ago i'll try and find it and post it in discord if i remember correctly it's something about the square root of two of two showing up which is of course or irrational number square root of two showing up in what in uh i believe in mathematics impossible to tune a oh tune a piano correctly okay so it's an irrational number and you'll never able to hit it that's probably related because of uh, a pi as well because pi is irrational and the waves for tuning something are you know what are, i forget the names what, what are these called this is the one wave I, sh I knew this at some point right and then you can harmonics right you can do this and then you can have uh, a quarter of an octave or something like this i forget what these things are called right like this would go so this would be that and then you could have the half and whatnot um i, I came across some of the stuff with uh reading about tesla as well which is amazing no name but maybe a lyric stream with um with lyrics that apply to the problems that the world is facing right now laughs and rage against the machine yeah and uh and nwa and tupac and biggie and the big pun and big al and and uh, immoral technique and so many and dead prayers right i miss so many streams that said 
Let's go, Void. How are you doing, Haji? Mm, dad, drums. <laughs> the faucet. The stream totally needs a musician's feet. <laughs> this should have surprised me, but it doesn't. Cheryl, Haji, Haji. That was the day Chicho was born. Haha, -ha. you should have seen it, man. Greatest drummer, Ginger Baker. Ginger Baker. Ginger Baker. He he oh, doesn't ring a bell ginger baker who is he playing with he's old school ginger baker you say he's the greatest drummer was he playing with uh uh the trumpet guy uh, uh the trumpet guy uh, armstrong louis armstrong did he play with Rui Armstrong? Oh, Ginger Baker with Cream. Really? No. I can't even play the triangle that she says. Hi, Chicho. How are you today? Doing good, Birdie Daddy. Ginger Baker, Cream. Really? I used to listen to Cream, but uh, I didn't. Uh, I got to give Cream another shot. Cream was Eric Clapton guitar. So G Eric Clapton was guitar. Ginger Baker was drums. Uh, better than Keith Moon uh, yeah Keith Moon was really good uh, but like for me uh, Neil Peart would, would be one of my top drummers in the world right uh, <laughs> yes Cheech yeah. it was uh, Eric Clapton and huge respect to Eric Clapton man I in the last couple of months two three months right Eric Clapton has come out and did some stuff said some stuff and my respect from Eric Clapton I had huge respect for Eric Clapton right uh, for his music I didn't know too much about his politics I knew about his life a little bit so huge respect on that front but man huge respect for him standing tall all right one of my favorite Steve Gadd cool cool help me with Pythagoras for sure John we do Steve uh, Gad my uncle I am Chris Gad Steve Gad oh dude you gotta I, I, okay I gotta I gotta link this up my favorite so wait a second I it faucet if you're on discord link it up link us up okay Joe okay uh, he's the regular question I hope this makes sense He's the rectangle question. He's a rectangle question. What? Listen to White Room and Sunshine of Your Life. Really? From Cream. I know those tracks, but I haven't listened to them for 25 years or so. Nutmeg to uh, Fawcett. Are you serious? So, Steve Gadd. I got to look that up. Chicho, I can't fit it into one post, so I'll have to post it over a couple. Okay. Steve Gadd did some drumming for. Paul Simon, no way. I love Paul Simon. Did he do the one uh, uh, where he went to South Africa to uh, record? Uh, I forget what the album is called, but the diamonds and the heel of my shoes and stuff like this. Oh, Joe, look at the question. I've noticed, uh, Chicho, I've noticed that when we are finding areas in geometry, the area of a rectangle is fundamental to finding the area of other shapes. Yes triangles are half a square yes when we find the areas of other shapes such as hexagon and uh, heptagon we split the shapes into triangles and find the area by adding the areas of all the triangles the same with circles uh, circles is a little different you got to do the limit with circles uh, when you want to when you want the area under a curve uh, you can use an infinite number of rectangles rectangles yes under the curve when we derive the area of shapes squares rectangles always show up yes so what about the area of a of a rectangle what about the area of a rectangle how do we drive the formula for the area of a rectangle being area equals side times side we never see the formula for the area of a rectangle being derived or discussed it's uh, just stated and taken to be true is it just taken to be self um, evident ax axonomic or is there a way to derive the formula you draw the formula from area of a triangle 
right area of rectangle is twice the area of a triangle right that's where you get it John Bo uh, Bonham fans yeah John Bonham Led Zeppelin died a little too early right John Bonham was amazing by the way so here's a joke well uh, sleepy ways by the way I haven't forgotten the music thing but here's here's a triangle right now triangle doesn't have to be uh, isosceles triangle if you have a triangle with two sides the same right if this is the same as this you just mirror this along here you get the same thing as a right angle triangle and that's a square so it's x times x right but a triangle doesn't have to be an isosceles triangle here's a triangle and the area area of a triangle is one half base times height right so for a square the base and the height are just x right so this would be 1 over 2 x times x so is equal to x over 2 and if you have two of them to get the square you double this so 2 so area of a square is equal to 2 times the area oops area of a triangle which is equal to 2 times x squared over 2 which is equal to x squared right that's the area of a square well area of a rectangle here's x or let's call it base times side or x and y let's call it x and y right well area of this triangle is the same area same as this one half base times height which is equal to one half x times y which is equal to x y over two well mirror this flip it you get this right is that proportional <laughs> this looks bigger <laughs> let me do it this is my drawing looks more legit Doink. all right so if you do this then that plus that is two times that so the area of this rectangle so this is the area of this triangle and the area of the whole rectangle is area of the rectangle is equal to area of the triangle times two well area of the triangle is x over y x times y over two times two two kills two which is just x times y so area of a rectangle is base times height is that i mean that's assuming we know what the area of a triangle is how do we come up with the area of a triangle i don't know i haven't looked into the proof of it yet i've probably had in the past but i can't remember how we go about it right joe chicho basically how do we drive the area of a rectangle that's the area of a rectangle i hope that makes sense not make the concert in the park i believe I uh, believe it was uh, new york also on 50 ways to leave your lover cool no way he played with Bee Gees. who played with Bee Gees? john bottom play with Bee Gees? No. no hold on who played with Bee Gees? you i missed the conversation no name boy i love the Bee Gees. pleased to meet you kyle m parker chicho thank you for telling us the truth about how our government manipulates us and controls information ah my pleasure just sharing what i can what i believe i know and awesome album that uh, cheryl says not make joe chicho but isn't the area of a rectangle derived from a, a triangle derived from a rectangle um is the area of a rectangle i don't know you could go this way or that way they're both the same way so sure you could start here and drive that so you know what i then i don't know what the proof is I, I can explain it to you visually right here let me explain it to you visually uh sleepy words are you still okay with us hitting up the music uh and math uh after we do this here let, let me show you this okay let me erase this this is this is my intro to geometry when i give people right now watch this watch this let me get caught up with chat let me get caught up with chat just in case 
uh, that, that, that the craft on with the concert that Paul Simon did was the one in South Africa yeah uh, it was sure uh, it sure was Chicho. so how do we derive the area of the right triangle okay Steve got played with the Bee Gees. Steve got played with the Bee Gees nice so wait a second wait a faucet that's your uncle you're a gad are you serious I love the Bee Gees Andy Gibb oh sad sad I love the Bee Gees and Andy Gibb really I used to listen to him a lot and I still do not a lot but every now and then if I want happy music man uh, the Bee Gees is it uh, Bee Gees is one of the greatest Joe Chicho doesn't the proof of an area of a triangle come from proving that all triangles are half a rectangle let's check it out Joe check it out okay here here's a quick introduction to geometry I always thought that the rectangle was the fundamental shape and everything else in geometry is derived from them I don't know I always use the triangle as a fundamental uh, shape because polygons you get from the area of a triangle but let me give you sort of my intro that I give to people in regards to geometry where I sort of try to explain to them what length area and volume are right so if you're thinking about geometry and we're talking about Euclidean geometry flat surface geometry to a certain degree you can talk about spheres as well but the formulas change a little bit right but let's do this geometry okay whoop, whoop. what do you call this ready Boop. What do you call that? What do you call that? That point that really doesn't have any area. It's just a point in space. A point, exactly. We call this a point. Now, a point in space, it's not really a dot. It's not a, it's not a sphere. It's a point. It's a marker. A, a marker in space has zero dimensions zero D right no dimensions to it it's just a point in space right now take this point right take this point and stretch it or take your pen and draw on it what do you call this what do you call this a line exactly we call this a line now a line is one plane right so it's 1d one dimension right 1d right and one dimension means it's got a unit it's got a unit okay now if it's got a unit it all depends what you measure with right what your units you like measuring with it could be <laughs> Bond, funny it could be it could be meters it could be feet it could be inches it's you length right <laughs> she's laughing so we could call this the unit would be meters feet inches centimeters kilometers miles yards whatever you want to call it right that's the dimension it's a line it's a length right length now take that point right Boop. draw a line or stretch your point across right and then take this line hopefully it was a straight line this doesn't look too straight take this line and stretch it up right so pan it up when you pan it up in mathematics what that means is you multiply it stretch you gotta cover this whole thing going up right what do you call this thing what do you call this thing right there's multiple words for it right surface surface right it's a surface right so if this was link X this was link 
x and this is length y, we have two dimensions that we're going. For us to go figure out what the surface or what the area of this thing is, we take this and multiply it by this. And this is two directions, so it's two dimensional, right? 2D. And when you have two dimensional, you're not just meters and feet and inches and centimeters or kilometers or miles. You're meters squared, feet squared, inches squared. You're multiplying a unit with a unit. And if you multiply two identical things, it's just squared, right? So this would be meters squared, feet squared, inches squared, centimeters squared, whatever it is squared, right? Now, Take this point, stretch it into a line, take your line, pan this line up, you get your surface. Now take the surface and push it either out of the page or into the page, right? Just go push it in, right? right? So there's our X, there's our Y, and this is sort of depth and we can call this Z if you want. What do you call this? What do you call this? Volume, volume, surface, volume, right? Volume. That's more related to that. Volume, is there another word we could say? Volume? 3d 3d it's got three directions right 3d and if you're if you're going to measure something you're going to measure things in the same unit may it be feet meters feet inches centimeters kilometers miles you multiply the same unit multiple times together it's cubed right so this is meters cubed feet cubed inches cubed centimeters cubed right and what type of world do we live in? You take your three dimensions that we exist in right now, right? Add time, okay, or multiply with time. You get 4D, which is us. Okay, we live in a four dimensional world, right? Three spatial dimension and we got time. For me, this is my intro to geometry. When I first get into teaching someone geometry, I make sure they understand this concept and then we build from here, right? No matter what grade they're in. Okay. I don't know if that would be considered a proof of this but it's an explanation. I'm pretty sure there's a, a hardcore mathematical proof to it. Okay. Four D is just time. Introduce time here. You want to understand four dimensions? Watch this. Here. I'm going to take this down. Okay. Here's four dimensions. Uh, grizzly grizzly dean okay you're gonna call up a friend of yours right you guys want to go to a movie okay back in the day where you could go to movies right and you know of a movie theater it's downtown and it's a big building right the whole building is a movie theater right and the movie theater is on the corner of First, oops, that's not a one. First Street and what's a good street name? What's a great good street name? First Street and Chicho Boulevard? No, nah, that's too much. <laughs> How about Grizzly Boulevard, right? 
Grizzly Boulevard. Right? This is Grizzly Boulevard. Here's the building. Right? Here's the building. Now you call up your friend, Grizzly, and Chicho Avenue. <laughs> nice. <laughs> A charming sarcasm what are you doing I, I'm a little high so I just pictured Chicho was about to go you don't understand it Grizzly here let me show you <laughs> that just ends the stream <laughs> now check this out Grizzly you call up your friend and say hey bear right let's go to a movie let's go to a movie that's on the corner of first street and Grizzly Boulevard so this is your x-axis right this is your y-axis okay and the movie we want to see is on the seventh floor right you're on this floor right here seventh floor right 1d 2d whoop, 3d you're on the seventh floor right and your friend bear says grizzly done deal let's go i'll see you there and hangs up have you guys made a date is it going to work out for you guys is it going to work out for you guys is there any other information so it's just time it's just time that's all grizzly you got to tell him what time he could go there 10 minutes after you've left maybe you thought the movie the movie you guys were gonna go see was at two o'clock but you forgot to tell him right and he thought it was four o'clock so you go there at two o'clock he's not there you're all pissed right the movie starting you already missed the trailers oh you missed the trailers good thing you missed the commercials at the beginning you missed the trailers too now you're all like edgy right and once the movie starts you can't just walk in right because you missed the first little clip right so you're all pissed you go home and then bear shows up 10 minutes after uh you've left right because he's early or she's early or they're early right they want to get popcorn play video games maybe there's some pinball machines there is there some pinball machines in movie theaters right and bear is there waiting for you to show up at four o'clock and says no i'm not leaving right until grizzly shows up he could be there forever right so fourth dimension is just time now there supposedly are other dimensions spatial dimensions uh i think ronnie said uh, ronnie asked uh, don't understand why it's so hard for humans to visualize the third dimension uh, more than anything beyond 3d it's because we don't have a perception of it we, we don't exist in a four-dimensional world we can uh, try to understand what 4d looks like and the way we understand what 4d looks like is through its shadow okay brett slinger 91 thank you very much for the tier one sub okay so the way we try to understand four dimensions four spatial dimensions is by looking at the shadow of a four-dimensional object in 3d so right now like here check this out like i'm putting a shadow here right agreed so if i hold up a 3d object this, these are all 3d but here let's do a pen not, not a pen a cup like sap i got my certificate in this right i keep it as a as, as a memory is this even throwing a shadow there you go there's a shadow of a cup here let me there's a shadow of a cup three-dimensional object this is what the cup the shadow of the cup looks like right let me see if i can do it here oh man doing it on the drawing is so difficult here is the shadow of a cup right that's the shadow of a cup right so this is what a 3d 3d object looks like right this is what a 3d object looks like 
right? It's got a hole in it. Cool, I've been sitting there for a while. It's a little dirty there, right? This is a three-dimensional object, right? This is the shadow of a three-dimensional object, but this is two dimensions. Now, if you look at this thing, two dimensions, without knowing that that was a cup that has a hole in it, would you know that this has a hole in it? How do you know what a hole is? You live in a two-dimensional plane. Like, what's a hole? Is a hole this? But that's not a sealed hole, right? That was a hole that you could put your finger through it. Boop, 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 boop. If you're in a two-dimensional world, how are you going to put your finger through that? You're on a flat surface, right? That's the same way it works for four-dimensional objects. We can see the shadow of a four-dimensional object, but we can't know everything there is about that four-dimensional object unless, well, no, we still can't. But what we can do is, um, for example, take this object again, and let's draw the shadow this way, right? If you draw the shadow this way, right, it looks like this. Well, that just looks upside down. What? Here, let me draw it like this. I want to draw it like this. There we go. Let's say we're drawing it like this. If you draw it like this, you get this. Oops. Now it looks like this. If you shine it like this way. Well, what is that? If you only had one, uh, one direction shadow on this three-dimensional object, then you wouldn't know that from the top it looks like that. Now, what is that? Right? Unless the bottom was empty as well, if the bottom was empty, it was broken, then it would like look like this. Then you'd be going, what? Right. So that's what we can do with 4D dimensional objects, uh, spatial dimensions anyway. Okay. Is loving, Christopher Nolan is loving this stream. I have SAP Mark III. Uh, do you, Pan? Did, did you have SAP certificate? I, I did the course. Uh, 19 in 2000, 2000, 2000. Well, I can't remember when I did 2000. I think I went and got my FI certificate. Nice, I follow you. Thanks for the follow, Grizzly. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay, now music and mathematics. Let's just do a little quick thing on it, right. If Sleepy Waves is not here anymore, hopefully he sees it uh, later on when we upload it, right? Because he asked if we could just show on very basic um, how mathematics is related to music, right? And music, look, I, I, I knew a little bit, a lot more before in the past. I haven't, I stopped playing drums for a year and I lost my ability to play drums as well as I could. So uh, I sort of, um, stop playing because when i went to university it was longer than a year for for like three four years i went to university it was away from where my drum set was so i couldn't play drums on a regular basis so i lost my ability to play drums and at some point i had to sell the drums because i didn't get back on it that's one thing neil pert used to tell people russia's drummer that the reason he practiced so much because he was afraid that he was going to lose his ability to play drums sleepy ways you're here right on i'm here been patiently waiting <laughs> My ass off. good thank you for waiting right so neil pert used to say that the reason he used to practice a lot was because if he stopped practicing he would lose his ability to do certain things and that would be frustrating and he never wanted to lose that ability right so keep that in mind if and that goes for anything right it, as the saying goes use it or lose it right pawn my sap comes from a brief spell at a o n uh hewitt i was fired because i missed too many mondays <laughs> oh rat how what was it we don't like mondays joe chicho i posted the tuning piano video on the math disco for awesome awesome thank you thank you very much joe now take a look at this thing when you're playing music with drums is really the the beat oh, boom, boom. And a lot of rock and roll or a lot of music is four four beats, right? Now I don't I've forgotten my music symbols, I've forgotten I've forgotten 
everything so i'm going to use symbols that musicians uh, music people are going to go what the, what is this guy talking about um, but i'm just layering on math right <laughs> grizzly i used to be a pretty good trumpet player now i um I probably can't even blow <laughs> nice boom town rats boom town rats check this out so we have oh my god i'm going to draw music what do you call these things so this is the way I learned how to play drums, believe it or not. This is the way I learned how to play drums, right? This is the way I learned how to play drums. Remember, I had zero. I was a very good drum player, by the way. Not like I first song I learned how to play it was YouTube Sunday Bloody Sunday. Next song I learned how to play was ah, nice things that you was um, um, the police wrapped around my fingers. Okay. I learned the Van Halen song. I learned some other songs. And then I realized uh, I tried to play Rush, um, um, Tom Sawyer, and I couldn't do the drum solo. And I realized I wasn't technically, I, no matter how much I practice, I couldn't, I couldn't do it, right? So, and it wasn't by listening or anything. I had to read the notes to do it. I would memorize the notes. Staff, is that what it's called? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. So check this out. We're going to put two chords here and what's that symbol here's the music symbol is, is is this what we do how does this go here here like this is, is that what where we're doing it <laughs> i don't know and the way i learned was this this would be the bass drum right this would be the hi-hat uh, let's put the hi-hat here this would be like a symbol symbol this would be like snare okay and then you'd have a, like a tom tom here or something like this, right? Tom, tom, one tom two or something like this, right? So if you're playing a four four beat, right? That means you got boo boo boo. That's one. Is it a chord? It's not a chord. It's one section, right? So for a bass, a four four beat. I don't know if it's four four or whatnot, but basically, let's assume that's one set that you're gonna do right you would go bass boom sharp boom boom okay and then you would do snare go. i'm not even doing this right i don't know if i'm doing this right hold on a second let me do this with my lines hold on hold on, hold on. let me do this properly let me do this properly so you start off with the bass the poof, hitting the bass is the foot right and then in the middle so you go boom, ba, boom, ba, boom. and then you hit the snare in the off beats right and then the hi-hat is usually going four one two three four so you're going choo, 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 choo. so boom, choo. Boom. That, that's going pretty fast that's like a punk beat <laughs> right <laughs> i'm doing a horrendous job explaining this by the way and then you would have like a symbol and with the other hand you go bam smash a symbol or something like this let's do it you could do it on the on the offs as well i don't know i don't even know if this works like this right so this is the way they break it up four four like really i i, I gotta get my notes i'll show you guys my notes one day right my symbols one day and you can put toms here you could do double toms boom boom right uh undo this one boom boom right like if you look at neil pert stuff it's just, a, it's just filled with stuff right and then the same thing would repeat here you're doing the same thing boom 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 and this is this would be a four count right break up the drum set break out the drum set <laughs> nice tadpoles thanks <laughs> fun says so this would be like on was it zero four eight whatever right now there are other beats that people do and neil pert was some of the some of the songs that he played he'd go from four beats so some, some songs it's not even four beat it's seven eight beats right so the the rhythm doesn't end on the four or doesn't start on a four a natural count it's an off beat right so he would take this so this is up to an eight so he would take it right here's the eight and 
tool does this tool does this right here's the four right here's the eight here's the zero but with some music you don't do the repetition here again you do it on the seven the seven count so from here to here is what the beats going and it's not natural like when you're dancing you're doing this and then all of a sudden you have to do dan, dan, and then do, do. like do a pop up pop, pop. but it's not even that it's it's just an off beat and then how many of these do you need to get back to a regular beat right and then you can take a seven seven beat i'm going to make it smaller here right so you would take a seven seven eighths and then you would take oh my god you would take uh three fourths right so you do seven eight three four seven eight three four seven eight three four what a trippy song that would be right uh dream theater does it too dream theater is amazing oh my god no name boy dream theater is beautiful music if you guys have never listened to dream theater you listen to dream theater i seem to recall this e g b d f on the lines going up is that what it is yeah i you know what i got my notes drum notes somewhere uh one of these days we'll do an asmr video and we'll do the top view with the uh the way we do the comic book readings and i'll show you <laughs> right maybe right so this is the way math plays in it and when the musicians are getting together to create this music right now just imagine this is one section one little part right and a song may have multiple pages of these right and they have to break it down so it's not chaos but there is at some point where everything goes right there it's, it's an epic moment music builds up the lyricist is going crazy and all of a sudden it just goes everything hits on the same moment right boom and then you can go back into the rhythm and the chaos again and then boom now you must have grizzly thank you very much for the twitch prime so you must have listened to music or been to shows where all of a sudden everybody at the same time goes wham right that's what's going on that's the mathematics of it that's hitting okay that's the rhythm that's hitting there is you know taking this to sort of literature book one of the most fantastic science fiction books that i read was by c.s lewis um, it's a trilogy one of them is called the hideous strength and then um Pal palindra or something like this it's, it's a three book trilogy right and in one of the books i'm going to give you a little bit of spoiler but that's okay in one of the books uh the main protagonist travels to another planet right and he encounters aliens and the aliens are listening to music right he understands that they're listening to music because of their behavior but in the book as he's explaining this music he explains that he couldn't understand the music there's no it, it didn't relate to him as music because the heartbeat because our heartbeat follows this right right it's it's a constant beat every now and then there's a rhythmic offbeat right but our heartbeat is rhythmic right that's why the seven eight and three fours and stuff like this is hard to comprehend right but in this book he's c.s lewis is explaining that protagonist is having a hard time relating to this music because he can't because their heartbeats beat differently than our heartbeats right that's the way he was explaining it and i read this many years ago like 30 years ago right i'm not doing it justice but it was really good rest in peace professor neil indeed intrepid indeed 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 i'll go hello hello how are you doing you remind me of my teacher he must be or she must be an amazing teacher <laughs> be, i never had a good math teacher or a teacher in general um i really didn't have a good math teacher either the best teacher uh math teacher i ever had was time and just persistence right 
upon DJ days on vinyl and uh, techniques uh, 12 tens taught me the science of music beats and bars in the 32 beats in the drop nice 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 and uh, as pawn is mentioning DJs like uh, some of the first videos I loaded on my sensor tube channel was me going to a music festival on the island here it was like a weekend music festival it was phenomenal it was called sound wave and I went out there because I knew I was gonna start shooting mathematics make math videos and I needed to learn how to shoot video so I bought a camera <laughs> went on the ferry I was reading how to use it right and shot a lot of video during that festival right or the new camera and I shot a lot of video during that festival and a lot of the video I shot was looking at the DJs mixing right and if you if you ever go to a music festival or a show or anything like that where there's a DJ mixing in front of their screen you'll see the bars going across that's all mathematics what's going on right aside from that in mathematics the harmonics of it it's all trigonometry right layer this with this with this with this with this and you got music right you get stuff like like this is all this is all just mathematics a whole bunch of sine waves layered together offset transformed to generate music that's what music is is vibrations right sleep with chicho do you think that people can make music who don't understand music oh for sure of course of course i feel like producers and artists today use less instruments nowadays i need to read that um the c.s lewis books yeah 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 i think that's what you mean uh yeah for sure sleepy waves uh today they use less it's technology like your computer you download a program to make generate music you have every instrument known to mankind or almost known to mankind and sound that you could have to create music right in the past you didn't have that right before technology on this level you have to get people that knew how to play all these instruments together and then you had to like Beethoven or Bach or whoever that wrote the music that could hear the music write it and then you have to give it to the musicians to play it right now you can do it yourself one person solo operation right it's brilliant yeah music theory is not necessary sleep with waves uh, uh Cheryl to sleep with waves. there's a huge difference between understanding theory from a technical perspective and an innate understanding yeah and ear you have to have a good ear right no name boy or Robert Johnson who sucked that guitar went to a crossroad made a deal with the devil haha <laughs> became a great player and then disappeared haha <laughs> uh, is it Hank when uh Hank Williams jr has uh, a song on that doesn't he it's an amazing song by the way i forgot what it's called what's it called uh devil with a blade of uh, uh blue suede shoes devil with the blue suede shoes right is, is that what the song is called hank williams jr devil with a blue suede shoe what a phenomenal song and there's a movie with uh pacquio i believe where he actually is a guitar player and goes to a crossroads and makes a deal with the devil uh, that's a great movie. I gotta watch that movie again. Dave Nall learned drums by playing with pans and pillows. Yeah, there's some amazing drummers out there. That old school videos you see from the 1970s and 80s, just from people sitting in New York or Philly on the street and playing drums on buckets and lifting it up and making sound. My God. tons of people feel the theory but couldn't put it down on paper indeed music theory in large part is i think can be just an academic realm right hedgy every good boy does fine i had to google it but i recall it every good boy does fine what is that ai will come up with the future hits mm, me i don't know i think ai uh 
machine learning programming like a lot of pop music that has been is like hits the charts and sells a lot is because it's a formula they're applying to human nature human characteristics we are are get attracted to a certain type of beat certain type of music so it's just a formula they're rehashing all the time right but those those tracks don't stand the test of time because they're easily replaced i think the type of music that really stands the test of time is music that challenges us it's not the same rehashing of the same thing but it's the music that really makes you go wow right so you know i'm sort of being biased because i like i really like intricate music like for me uh one of the greatest genres of metal is math core that's one of the reasons i got really into dillinger escape plan like i went and saw dillinger escape plan i think three or four times i can't remember how many times i saw dillinger escape plan and watching all the bands that open up for dillinger escape plan uh, like animals as leaders and stuff like this like math core when it comes to metal is some of the uh, in my opinion some of the greatest musicians right now playing instrumental music are playing math core even though i haven't gone off on it for a few years during the time when i was listening to dillinger escape plan they they were they would have been some of the they are some of the greatest musicians that were around uh during that period or when i was listening to them because they they were so intricate so intricate look up math core metal music it's chaos brought to you on on this level amplified right absolutely brilliant pond for people who don't know what dance djs do fundamentally they match the first beat of a bar with the first beat of a sequence so uh, when they build up they drop together amplifying the experience 8 16 32 beats um, you will hear a change in every piece of dance music indeed and the categories of the different categories of electronic music right it may be drum and bass maybe uh down tempo house um electro uh, what do you call it techno or whatever it is all the different genres of electronic music the main category that they're based on is the beats per minute right isn't a beats per minute uh dbs or whatever it is 128 versus 132 versus 115 what, what's that called i know this because my uh, well I, i've been around djs i've been going to music festivals for a while and i know a lot of djs but my partner djs a little bit known i know a few djs and it's just basically the the bpm yeah beats per minute that really defines what electronic music is categorized uh, what category it belongs to right oh is this is this techno is this is this deep house is this house is this um whatever right it's brilliant devil went down to georgia devil went down to georgia cheryl that's the one isn't it hank williams jr i gotta listen to that song i gotta listen to that track after this hedgy blue pill music i find so mundane uh i can't tell the difference between songs in the top 20 these days that's probably because they're just going with the formula right brian maypon says is an astrophysicist for a reason brian may brian may i don't know if i know brian may no name boy chicho have you listened to a uh, change of seasons by dream theater probably i haven't listened to dream dream theater for a long time um no name uh last time i went off on dream theater was probably like 10 years ago or something uh so 20 minutes of a true masterpiece yeah true uh, dream theater is amazing really just uh, dream theater godspeed you black emperor uh carl uh, klaus i believe uh frank zappa there, there are some master master musicians there right the stray wizard greetings that is a glorious beard you have there thank you very much <laughs> my goatee 
you should see my full blown beard i got some videos out there with my full beard at some point we're gonna go back to it of course right but i love the goatee man i love the goatee feel no name boy from all the songs in the top charts right now the only song that um, will probably still be remembered a few years from now is leave the door open by silk sonic it really has that um r and b 70s 80s feel does it i don't think i listen to i i t t i probably wouldn't even know any of the top 20 tracks right now um intrepid devil went down to georgia was written by charlie daniels was it written by charlie daniels nice nice devil went down to georgia and then fiddle fiddle is the fiddle oh man dude, what a great song what a great song i don't I, i'm for sure i've written listened to the original as well but i really like the hank williams jr version it's just a party song like hardcore chicho no chicho you know brian may brian may brian may brian may the name's familiar but i can't put it is the guitarist for queen oh is the guitarist for queen okay brian may so brian may did what brian may is astrophysicist is he i had no idea brian may was an astrophysicist what the hell awesome awesome and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube quantum kick can you show the relationship between renting and buying a house and at what point does buying uh, make more sense uh buying makes more sense if you found your dream home and you want to live in it for a while okay buying makes more sense if you're not going to be uh, totally crippled by the debt that you're taking on buying makes sense in an area where it has good water supply as the saying goes location 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 buying makes sense if you're not buying during a bubble buying makes more sense where when interest rates are low okay and you're not going to be overwhelmed with picking up a huge mortgage and the interest that you're going to be paying on your mortgage is above the cpi is above inflation or above what your capacity is to make those payments uh, to the bank uh, buying makes more sense if you have children buying does not make sense if you want to stay uh, liquid if you want to stay mobile if you don't want to be tied down if you have other investments that you want to make okay uh, there are multiple things you have to look at uh, when you're looking at buying versus renting number one rule which is what most people don't tell you number one rule is lifestyle what is your lifestyle is your lifestyle uh, congruent is it is it is it a lifestyle that requires you to have a home a uh, central location that you don't want to move for a while or does your lifestyle dictate that you want to be on the move and you want to be liquid you want to be uh, not tied down to me that is the key that is the essential part some people say oh no if you uh, the best thing to do if you're if you're going to be renting somewhere for five years then it's a good idea to buy a place because your mortgage will go towards um rent towards your property because the property will the value will go up well property value is not guaranteed to go up because buying also has a certain amount of expenses that you have to put into it it's got taxes you got to put into it so there's a lot of things there so uh quantum okay. I would say number one rule when it comes to buying a home or renting is look at your lifestyle uh, decide that and then you can look at your finances 
no name boy ah zappa is awesome my brother sometimes says that system of down is what would happen if frank zappa decided to do a uh, metal haha <laughs> probably maybe maybe but frank zappa would do a lot more variety than system of down did right system of down was very consistent in the way they composed their music right frank zappa jumped all over the place right which is what really made him brilliant right the straight wizard i can only grow a goatee my cheeks go on super patchy um in the next life brother ask for some armenian blood or something we, we're hairy we're hairy <laughs> hello i'm a snake how are you doing hey chicho glad to see you uh, in yet another stream i just came back from yet another protest rally nice now it's time to educate myself and um, myself on some math very nice very nice and congrats on going on the protest brother you got to put your bodies on the line to a certain degree in these times right the stray wizard i just want to buy an acre out of town and build a tiny home yeah stray wizard not a bad idea tiny home i, I have friends that uh, live in tiny homes uh, before buying property that if you're buying property to live in make sure you have water supply in that property number one rule when you're buying property look at the water supply coming in okay are you dependent on a well is it a good yielding well are you dependent on the city pipes coming in what's the water situation like and look at the historical charts of it see if the water level is dropping over time if the water level is dropping over time your well has to go a lot deeper and there's only so deep you can go before you you run dry right so water is the key right honestly chicho honestly chicho is making a good point i should buy an rv <laughs> why not right expensive though when it comes to gasoline if it's a uh, gas powered sleep with chicho to build off uh, quantum care question can you show us in math what is needed to buy property or rent out currently looking at buying a property in my home country in Medellin Colombia for uh, to Airbnb I would I would buy cash there is no bubble in housing since in Colombia uh, since everyone buys houses and apartments cash to be honest okay cool that's good uh, Airbnb be careful because travel uh, but people do travel locally so that's still legit but a lot of international travel is going to be gutted and it is being gutted so Airbnb uh, people are relying like if you're buying an expensive property dependent on having high-end clientele to rent out your property you might be in trouble right so when in vancouver for example there's a lot of people bought apartments to do airbnb some apartments some people bought apartments um condos and apartments and all of a sudden the um the council for that apartment came out and said okay no airbnb allowed here so those people bought it on the condition that they were going to rent it out now they couldn't rent it out now they had to sell it right lucky for them the property value has gone up if it went down they're screwed now when all these lockdowns came in people couldn't rent out their airbnbs but they still had to pay a mortgage on it so they lost out big right so be careful on that front uh, as far as showing the math we'd have to i couldn't do it off the cup man i couldn't do it i could but it's just very general and the general stuff you already know right basically name of the game is this Look, name of the game is this This is the name of the game we'll do simple numbers like no numbers that really don't apply to buying something well i could in some places let's say you're gonna take out a hundred thousand dollar mortgage right let's say the property was one hundred and twenty thousand right? dollars you pay 20 percent down right so 20 percent down you already got twenty thousand dollars in the apartment down paid you still have a hundred thousand dollars mortgage right now how are we going to make this chart let's make this chart over time are we going to be able to do this off the cup time okay this is money right on a hundred thousand dollars depending on what type of mortgage you get how long the duration is 
and all that jazz you're gonna be paying on a monthly basis a certain amount of money to pay off your mortgage right simple calculation simple calculation let's say you're doing your term for 20 years 20 years okay and in 20 years you expect the total amount of money that you would have been paid to the bank would be double this so you're going to be paying two hundred thousand dollars when all is said and done right so two hundred thousand dollars so you're paying an extra hundred thousand dollars right to the bank to buy whatever it is that you're buying after 20 years right so let's assume you want to break even how many months in 20 years 20 years times 12 months per year is 240 months right months now I don't know if this is the legit way people do it I, I, I do my own calculations just base value and then you can look at look at the logistics we're already taking into account the interest that you're gonna be paying on this right so take two hundred thousand dollars two hundred thousand dollars divided by 240 months for 20 years right divided by 240 oops 240 months that means you're going to be paying eight hundred and thirty three dollars thirty three dollars and thirty three cents mortgage per month right this doesn't include taxes this doesn't include service this doesn't include water heat hot, nothing right let's assume kick this up with taxes and everything let's assume plus expenses expenses cleaning you get people renting out they destroy the place you got to fix it up again let's say it's going to be nine hundred dollars per month that you're going to be putting into this apartment for 20 years right simple uh, mathematics says rent this out for at least one thousand You rent it out for a thousand dollars multiply by this well it wouldn't be that much so a hundred dollars a month right so two hundred and forty dollars over twenty years you're making an extra hundred dollars a month you're gonna make two thousand four hundred dollars plus you're gonna have an apartment right plus you have an apartment right so you have two hundred thousand two hundred and two thousand four hundred dollars uh, in equity right that's that's where you should start most basic calculation you can do right and then look into how much it really costs in your area to how much the taxes are how much interest rate is going to be do a legit calculation for this right how much you're going to be paying uh, over a 20-year period borrowed a hundred thousand dollars right use your compound interest formula uh, a is equal to P1 plus R over N and T. Use this formula to get a real idea how much it is that you're going to be paying at the end of 20 years, right? If uh, whatever the payments are, right? That's my quick take on it. Okay. Red couldn't agree more renting in London currently last 18 months has been interesting regarding people buying property uh, Joe Chicho uh, regarding my rectangle question I just read an article which says that the three basic shapes are a square a triangle and a circle all other shapes are derived from these cool 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 so square triangle square you can get from a triangle so it should be really two triangle and a circle floor edgy fluoride level as well right look at your water supply UK just said they're gonna put fluoride in the water get filters this uh, stray wizard yeah but that whole buying just for Airbnb was BS 
I lived in a Kelowna, BC, and because so many properties were just for Airbnb, it made finding rent harder and it drove up rental prices when you did find a place. Yeah, and here's the kicker all this Airbnb gig economy, gig rental, gig housing, it destroys a city it destroys the community because what happens is during the peak seasons people rent out the place right uh, but during the down season the place is not rented out so just imagine you're a store in a town that is selling something whatever it might be right during the peak season you're really busy during the low season nobody's coming to your store but you still have to pay rent a lot of places like restaurants can't afford that so they go bankrupt or they close their doors and move on right so what happens is you got a community you got a city you got a town airbnb stuff is not a bad idea but there's got to be limitations on it okay and air all these and there's a huge problem with property values anyway i mean that's just one of the issues okay pawn avoid cities if planning a purchase indeed cities will hemorrhage uh occupants in coming years as banking class move to home work and uh, homework and cities become cesspit of low-grade work land and ability to cultivate it will be uh, the future for people I grew up in London um, I I left 10 years I left 10 years ago and watched the decline will never go back not even for a visit yeah I agree with pond big cities are going to be gutted right now what's going on in terms of cities about 10 years ago a little bit longer corporations and stuff thought it was a great idea to start building private cities right so some of these corporations there were two test areas they were doing one of them was in asia the other one was in uh latin america um where was it uruguay they did it or honduras honduras i think they did it they were trying to build they bought this land and there's people living there they wanted to build a private city the shit at the fan people were like what the hell are you talking about private city with their own laws their own everything so it didn't fly over well right the billionaires thought it was a great idea the people went what right so that plan sort of got ditched but what's going on now those billionaires don't give up right those who want to rule the world right what they've ended up doing is now they're trying to build strong cities this getting into politics a little bit we're not going to go too deep in it but strong cities is basically a certain class of the oligarch technocratic society uh people in their societies taking over a city making smart cities strong cities with hardcore surveillance lack of privacy okay hardcore brutal policing and they are taking over certain cities Australia is seeing it happen right now okay. you don't want to live there unless people take it back sleepy ways chicho I guess the good thing about investing in Medellin Colombia is that I'm going to be buying cash no bank loans to worry about okay cool but worry about worry about taxes worry about electricity worry about water worry about safety okay worry about the the township or the city that you're in going bankrupt because once they go bankrupt if people start leaving the infrastructure deteriorates and things are cut off for example in detroit in detroit let's say this is detroit there were so many dialect houses abandoned houses that in certain parts of detroit the city came out and said no more water no more electricity there's people living there right but it's sparse people live in there the city couldn't afford to supply maintain those areas with electricity and water so done that whole area is done right people have to move be careful look into the whole infrastructure and economics and politics and whatnot rabbit hole geometry can be fascinating fascinating sleepy ways chicho at the end i understand it's a lot of work for a small investment better be putting money into cryptos i don't know brother <laughs> thunderproof asmr stream more like math stream asmr math nice chill joe chicho how do you get the area of a circle without using triangles 
without how do you get uh, uh, you split the circle into an infinite amount of triangles yeah yeah uh, to a certain degree you could do it that way uh tell you the truth i don't know how did they come up with uh pi r squared i don't know the derivation of pi r squared it is calculus taking the limits and making it smaller and smaller but i really don't know how they how they've done it i don't think i've ever even looked into it okay the straight wizard disney tried building a private city a couple of times at least they failed mar marvelously both times good joe chicho you then arrange those triangles into either a rectangle or another triangle so how can the circle be fundamental shape i'm confused it's fundamental shape because of pi right because pi is an irrational number is infinite right you can never get there's no such thing as a perfect circle in nature right so a circle has to be a fundamental shape right and then there's the whole thing with the five uh solids what are they called um five is it five um man i looked in the stuff so long ago the five fundamental solids and they're not called fundamental i forget what they're called there are five solids that you can build on each other i forget what they're called on the new fluoride is only in england not wales or scotland good good it's an old globalist idea that tony blair wanted to implement ah oh, tony Blair, you should be sitting in jail rotten in jail now the medical advisor suggests it will help with dental health of children insanity the same people who chose to that had children in the uk for their mental health are fluoride yeah and here's a kicker let's assume let's assume fluoride is phenomenal for the teeth make strong teeth never cavity very strong teeth you die with full set of teeth right but what's it doing to the other parts of the body the human body is not just teeth all right our human body is a complex system like there's a lot of people that say oh you must put fluoride in there to make strong teeth but do you even know what that stuff does in the digestive system what is it doing with the rest of the body like our medical system knows a lot about the heart knows diddly shit about the digestive system very little right melbourne is a strong city indeed they're going with it stevie way chicho i feel like investing uh in certain upcoming parts of detroit would be smart right now uh you can buy a house really cheap and detroit is a uh, dope part of the midwest to be honest plus they got we legalized yeah uh sleepy waves detroit in the 2008 collapse scam right hundred thousand dollar homes you could have bought for three thousand dollars homes property in detroit was selling for three thousand dollars a pop a house right now here's the kicker uh you still have to pay tax on it and all that just but you could have bought a house for three thousand dollars i don't know how cheap it is now what is the story of pi uh versus new new question pi is this right here let me give you a quick intro to pi let me let me read the speed goes ass disney uh suing stan lee's family for contract control of marvel characters i hope they fail and burn to the <laughs> she says and joe chicho the area of a circle was one of the first derivations i saw in math it blew me away you basically split the circle into an infinite amount of triangles and then rearrange those uh into a rectangle then you simply use the area of the rectangle really very cool very cool here uh deep flake check this out here's pi right here's a circle right here's the center of the circle right the most important thing about a circle or the only thing that defines a circle is the radius right here's the radius okay now the radius is the most important thing about a circle because everything's based on the radius right if i give you the radius of a circle you can make the exact same circle as i did here over there wherever you are right keep that in mind now 
for you if you're standing here let's say you're standing on a big circle right if you're gonna move this way right then I could tell you in one way that you know that almost everyone knows where I want you to go I can put a grid on this circle here's an X here's a Y right because we make the center of the circle zero zero right this is point zero zero right and what I can do is say okay from angle theta right from angle theta go to 120 degrees on the circle and you would go here right from there you would go here thank you very much and from here to here whoop, that would be 120 degrees right that's one way I can tell you where I want you to go from a circle right right over here maybe it was 30 degrees I would tell you to go to 30 degrees on the circle and you know where you are right now there's another way I could tell you where to go on a circle I could tell you where to go on a circle using geometry using coordinate system X and Y coordinates because if we draw a triangle here right angle triangle right then this point here is your X and Y where this is your X right or X1 and Y1 Y1 and this here would be your Y1 so instead of telling you I want you to go 30 degrees along the circle I could just say go to coordinate x1 y1 and you end up there or go to coordinate x2 and y2 I could tell you to go here right here's x2 here's y2 and you end up there right that's one way of doing it right so I can give you an angle and I tell you what the radius is and you're there right so there's two uh, variables that you got taken care of or I could also put a coordinate system on there and give you two variables and you end up at the same place so I could tell you where to go on a circle on on the surface of a circle or in the circumference of a circle by giving you either the angle theta okay or the radius R or I could give you a coordinate system right now one thing that's a fact universal fact universal fact mathematicians are the laziest human beings on this planet right tap tap it fast thank you very much for the follow seriously mathematicians are the laziest human beings on this planet and what they did they went two variables I don't want two variables I want to deal with one variable I don't want two variables I want to cut down my variables because when you cut down your variables the problem becomes simpler right you got one less variable to deal with awesome right as long as you can do the same thing so what mathematicians that did, did they said okay what is the most important thing about a circle for you to draw the same circle that I draw what do you need you just need the radius the radius is really the only thing that defines a circle right so mathematicians said this you know what this is what we're going to do we're not going to measure the angle in degrees right because degrees is a new variable right theta and degrees and radius and distance measurements feet centimeters whatever you want right length so forget about the degrees here okay angle in degrees okay what we're going to do is define this okay we're going to come up with a new measurement of an angle and we're going to call it radians 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 and what is radians we're going to define radians or one radian so one radian to be the equivalent distance you would travel along a circle okay that was equivalent to the distance of the radius right so if this is R right if this is R and this is your radius then we're gonna say that one radian one radian is you taking this distance and putting it along the circle so if we take this 
one radian would be this, basically. Take a look. Whoop. To there. This distance here would be the equivalent of R. Right? So if this was 10 meters, then this would be 10 meters. You follow? Right? I hope that makes sense. Pretty straightforward. And what we're going to do, we're going to call this one radian. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this. I'm going to do this. R equals 10. So if the radius of a circle is 10, right? And if you travel along the arc of a circle 10 units, then we're going to call this one radian. One rad. And rad is just short for like degrees is degrees and one radian is rad, right? This is the angle. So when I say I've traveled one radian along the circle, that means I've traveled the equivalent of the radius. So if I draw your circle here, whoop, right? And I put you here, right? And here's the radius, R. And I say travel five radians along the circle, right? Then what you would do, you would go, here's a radius, so five of these so here's one let's say here's two here's three here's four here's five so you would go this is where you end up right i didn't have to give you degrees i didn't have to give you degrees i got rid of theta in degrees i created a new variable which is radiance which is dependent on the radius so it's really the radius right cool cool what's pi pi is universal for every circle no matter what size it is because if you travel from one end of a circle if you go exactly half the circle to that side, you have traveled pi radians. Because from there to here would have been five radians. And from there to there is pi radians. And pi is 3.1 four one five i believe if i'm not mistaken so if you're standing here i tell you to travel pi radians along the circle you would go oh i know where that is that's where i'm gonna go that's where you are so pi is on a unit circle, a unit circle would be one if we we're going to call it, but that's what it is. Pi radians, pi radius is half a circle. That's why the circumference of a circle, circumference of a circle is two pi r. r is your radius, how long your radius is, and two pi is you traveling two pi radians right so if i tell you you're standing here to go two pi radians along the arc length of a circle you would go doo -doo 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 and if i ask you how long what's the distance there you would go oh the distance is two pi because that's how many radians i've traveled the angle i've traveled in the circle times the radius two pi r right if i tell you to travel five radians oh sorry not five five pi radians it means you're going to go one pi two pi three pi four pi five pi radians you just traveled five pi radians right that means you traveled five pi times 
10 times 10. That's the distance you travel. That's what pi is. That's what pi is. I hope that made sense. Hedgy, everyone from uh, 313, put your hands up and follow me. Jason, F. Jantan Jason, how can I find the shortest path between two nodes in a 5,000 by 5,000 mat matrix by using MATLAB? Oh, I don't know. I haven't used MATLAB for a long time. I barely even used it. I think I'm mathed out now after all that zombie math. Today. <laughs> oh, yeah, the exponential growth thing. Funny. That's what you wanted. Yes, what you were asking. The zombie apocalypse math thing before. Bondi Moose 341. I really needed this two years ago before I failed math. Oh, no. Stupid centralized education system. Deep fake. Amazing. Makes sense. Thanks. My pleasure, Alex. Pond. My problem with math is retaining focus it's easy to grasp and and but without repetition it is easy to lose yeah use it or lose it when you learn something in mathematics you have to practice it right like anything you have to practice like it's a language right it's useless studying a language if you haven't if you don't speak it like try to speak it with others you'll never learn it jack my problem with math is people <laughs> no jack it's not the british education failed me most centralized educations are failing everyone gang we're into two hours we gotta end it and no name boy i was good at math but then they uh mixed numbers with letters ha ha they did algebra without explaining to you what the letters were which is just basically the unknowns gang thanks for being here i needed this uh little math uh math live stream session always makes me happy doing a little bit of mathematics and uh, it's beautiful right this is the fundamental of existence really it, there's no politics there's no economics there's no BS there's no ideology ideology uh, stupidity there's nothing it's just pure mathematics and it's brilliant and it's awesome and it's the universal language okay Thank you, Chicho and Seifel. Thank you guys for being here for the questions. Super fun to do. Super fun to do. Gang, um, I'm not sure when I'm going to announce the next set of streams. My pleasure, Deep Flake. Um, I'll probably do one one off. <laughs> you see? I don't know. Boop. Look at this. Look at this. Ah, I didn't even appear. Nice. ASCII dead. Ha ha ha. Too bad troll time. Let's hold on. How do we ban? ah uh, nice cheryl you killed it thank you for great my pleasure my pleasure ah uh, thank you for the bits crypto gang gang thank you for being here um and uh the, probably uh, towards the end of the week or something uh we'll do another just one off and then we'll do cooking and finance and mathematics and current events and all that jazz aside from that gang if you want to know what this work is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o i don't put anything in behind paywall everything is creative commons share and share alike and it's basically layered on mathematics this is the essence of what we do and for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of the support we're getting on patreon that we're able to do this as well as the support we are getting on twitch gang thank you very much for the support thank you for being here thank you for discussions thank you for the love thank you for the questions and and the help with the mathematics super fun super fun uh and mods thank you for taking care of business and gang thank you for the follows thank you for the shares and thank you for the bits uh, greeting chicho thanks my pleasure alex my pleasure i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines vk gap parlor bitcloud and getter free speech social networks if you're on a social network that is censoring information get off that social network that is not a social network that is an indoctrination programming propaganda network you don't want to be there and we do have a discord page you can come to our chat anytime you want type an exclamation mark discord and the link 
the invite will go out you're welcome to join us there there's a lot of people sharing information talking about things um, sometimes debating okay you're definitely welcome to join us and the links will be in the description of this video we do have a soundcloud page where we upload videos the audio of the live streams that we do um, as podcasts and those podcasts are available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes and google play uh, mainly reserved for live streams where we don't have any visuals uh, just the discussions and whatnot and we will be uploading this full live stream to sensor tube to bitchute to rumble and to odyssey if you want to follow all of our content bitchute rumble and odyssey is where you want to be everything does not get loaded on to sensor tube okay and basically gang thank you very much for all the support uh on all of these platform pawn i will tip in library credits have a ton awesome thank you very much pawn and library is fantastic love and library odyssey is the same thing as library so odyssey is library rumble bitchute free speech platforms that's where you want to be lots of amazing stuff 800 864 people on discord we have right now awesome 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 uh, i i'm enjoying it i'm there a lot and so is hedgy and so is so are a lot of other people uh, gang i hope you have a fantastic next few days i'll upload the last three streams and this week on all these platforms well not everything going to censor too but they will be all uploaded to bitch rumble and odyssey and uh, i'll see you guys on discord and in our next setup streams. Bye everyone.